Hello everyone, welcome to my civil engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe to it and hit the bell icon to get notified when I post my new videos. Today I will be discussing a concept of how to analyze elongation of a bar of tapering cross section. So here I have taken a bar which is of uniformly tapering and uh, which is having a circular cross section. So here you can just uh, uh, observe here where D1 is a diameter at one end which is of uh, larger uh, uh, diameter and uh, D2 is a smaller diameter at other end. So here uh, L is the length that is total length of the bar and E is the Young's modulus. So it remains constant uh, throughout because it is made of same material and let P is the axial tensile load acting on the bar. So first and foremost thing is I need to consider an elementary section here in order to determine the uh, diameter of this elementary section. So here there is a shaded portion you can just observe here. So this is the elementary uh, section wherein uh, its length is taken as dx which is at the distance of x from the left hand uh, side and uh, let uh, its diameter is equal to dx which is at the distance of x from the left hand side left hand end. So here uh, in order to determine the diameter of the elementary cross section that is dx so it is nothing but d1 minus of d1 minus d2 divided by l into x so i just take d1 minus d2 by l which is inside the bracket as t, uh, k here so therefore uh, dx will be equal to d1 minus kx so this is for the easy solving of the uh, problem. So next is, uh, the next step is to determine the area of cross section. So here the area of cross section of the bar which is at the distance of x from the left hand side is taken as ax. So ax is equal to uh, pi dx square divided by 4 since it is a circular cross section so it is pi dx is the diameter of the elementary cross section so therefore it is pi dx square divided by 4 so in my previous slide i have uh, uh, explained uh, the dx uh, is equal to d1 minus kx so substituting that dx so therefore uh, it is uh, pi by 4 into d1 minus kx whole square so next step is to determine the stress here so uh, now stress at the distance of x from left hand side is given by sigma x is equal to load by ax so that is sigma x is a stress at x distance so lo load divided by area of uh, section uh, area of section uh, which is at the distance of x from the left hand side so p is a load divided by area ax is equal to pi by 4 into d1 minus kx the whole square so therefore after simplification that uh, pi by 4 the 4 denominator of the denominator go to the numerator so it is equal to 4p divided by pi into d1 minus kx square so next is uh, uh, we are supposed to find out what is the extension or the elongation of the elementary uh, section so here uh, uh, that is nothing but before finding the elementary uh, extension of the elementary section we are supposed to find the strain here so strain ex let the strain is represented by e so elementary section is at the distance of ex from the left hand side so strain here is represented as ex in the small element of length dx so therefore ex is equal to stress divided by e so that is nothing but stress is nothing but sigma x divided by e so here sigma x i have got as 4p divided by pi into d1 minus kx the whole square which i have substituted here into 1 my 1 by e here so this is the uh, this is the extension for the elementary cross section uh, that is uh, 
having the uh, diameter dx so next is the extension of the small length dx uh, is given as it, it can be uh, given as strain is equal to strain uh, dx is equal to ex times of dx strain dx is equal to ex times of dx so that is nothing but uh, uh, wherein strain is equal to uh, the elementary extension uh, of length uh, uh, dx is equal to strain into dx so that is strain here is taken as dx and length is uh, uh, sorry strain is taken as ex and length is dx so strain into the elementary length gives the extension for that elementary length so ex is 4p into pi e 4p divided by pi e into d1 minus kx the whole square so into the elementary length will be equal to dx so it is multiplied and this is the value so the next is uh, the total extension we have found out the uh, extension uh, which is a cost at the elementary cross section due to the effect of magnitude of the load of p now in order to find the total extension of the bar we are supposed to uh, integrate uh, the bar uh, integrate the uh, extension which we have got for the elementary cross section with the limits of 0 to overall length that is to 0 to l so if we just integrate that we will get the uh, expression as dl is equal to integration with the limits of 0 to l uh, in uh, 0 to l 4p dx divided by pi e d1 minus kx the whole square so after uh, after uh, uh, we know that uh, uh, 4p divided by pi e uh, we need to take it as uh, a constant so i have taken out of the integration so integration limit 0 to l d1 minus kx power to, uh, to the power of minus 2 dx so after integration i will get the value as 4p 4p divided by pi e k d1 1 minus d1 minus kl minus 1 by d1 so this is the value of the total extension of the object so if i just furthermore simplify by uh, uh, by uh, putting the value of k as d1 minus d2 divided by l so i will get the value of the total extension of the bar when it is subjected to the magnitude of load equal to p as 4pl divided by pi e d1 d2 so this is the overall value of the extension when uh, of the uniform tapering rod of circular cross section when it is subjected to the magnitude of uh, when it is subjected to the load of magnitude equal to p which is of tensile nature so as I said that K is equal to D1 minus D2 divided by L. Thank you for watching. Please like, share and subscribe the videos.